Hi guys, Dane here. It is Sunday, the 1st of September, and it is my latest reading vlog. Wow, what an intro. Uh, I've just picked up to start reading uh, Sharda by Douglas Adams and Gareth Roberts. It's a Doctor Who novel, but co-written by Douglas Adams, so I don't see how it could possibly be bad. But I, I guess we're going to find out in this week's reading vlog, so keep your eyes peeled for what I make of it. With a stranger. No, her best friend. So one of the issues of having all my books alphabetically is say, like, I'm going to read a Douglas Adams soon. So he goes up here and there's no space to squeeze the book in. So then we have to take this book out and put that down there. Only then there's no space here. So we take this book out and we go down there and you have to keep moving them along. So I kind of strategically leave like gaps, like here, there's actually no longer any gaps. There's a bit of a gap there, look. So there's gaps like strategically throughout to make it easier. But I was moving all my books along and this happened. Jesus. I think we can safely say that bookcase is gone. That bookcase is going. Uh, mm. What are we going to do, Biggie? I have made the ultimate salad bowl. There's hummus there. That's tempeh. Uh, Japanese udon noodles, all vegan. Rice noodles. Uh, red peppers. What else have we got in there? Some vegan cheese. With some like pepper on the top, with like tobacco, and I'm watching, I don't know, I am a murderer, or I am a killer, I think it's called. Hello, it is Monday, I was thinking about going to an acoustic jam earlier, but, um, I don't know, I didn't, I had some other stuff to do and whatnot, so I've built my bookcase, I'll go and show you in a second. I just want to update you on this. So I've been reading Sharda, the Doctor Who story by Douglas Adams and Gareth Roberts. I'm about two thirds of the way through now, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it is what it says it is. It's, it's Doctor Who written by Douglas Adams, and you very much, like, feel his sense of humour in it. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. And then up next, I'm going to read The Lovely Bones by Alice Seabold, which I'm going to be reading as a buddy read with Cats and Camera. So, yeah, I, I really don't know anything about it other than that it was popular on BookTube a while ago. Uh, other things to mention. Well, I finished doing all my recipes bar two now. So this is one I've just made, and these are like, um, they're like, I don't know what you'd call them, like little, sort of heart, they're kind of doughy, but they're also kind of crunchy. I might actually put them in just for a little bit longer, just to make them a little bit crunchier, like this one. And they're uh, like vegan cheesy bites. Okay, so, I can't actually remember whether I got footage of it, I assume I did. Basically, I used to have two of those thinner bookcases where this bookcase is now. This is the one that arrived today. And one of those collapsed, so I have it out in the porch now. I'll show you a sec in a second. But it couldn't take the weight of books. So I managed to save the other one by putting it in that corner. And then that freed up space for this. So now I have all of that space there for books, which is very exciting. And if you look over here, I have that entire bookcase as well. That is really creepy. That wardrobe door just opened on me. But yeah, so I basically have like a, just over a bookcase worth of space now for books, which is good because this is my TBR. Yeah. And I'm trying to reduce it, but also most of them are books I don't particularly want to read. I almost forgot to show you, but this is what I did with the bookcase that collapsed. It can't support like the individual shelves. But it can just about stand up still, like that. And it's got some stuff on the top and keeps some laundry in there. And then I brought this other thing out that I have here. And I don't know if you can see because it's so dark. But there's a tent down there and that's Biggie's little tent. He doesn't use it yet, but maybe he will. Oh, look at it ooze. I made, it is like, um, a ginger nut biscuit cake with this icing on the top and then these little hearts my god look at that it's oozing right off here we go look at that some ice cream to go with it amazing hello um i guess oh biggie's here let's let's include biggie in the footage shall we so later on this evening i'm gonna go to the chilton taps here in high wickham where it's open mic night and I'm gonna get some, uh, they have a new vegan menu. So I tried that in my last vlog. I just had a little, little tiny thing, but I might actually have proper dinner there today. 
and I've been reading The Lovely Bones, haven't I, Biggie, by Alice Seabold. And this is, this is a, a buddy read with Ka uh, Kaz from Cats and Camera. Yes, she'll be glad to see you're featured here, won't she, Biggie? She likes cats. Yes, oh, oh, yes, look at that foot. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh. it's such a spoiled cat, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Okay, so yeah, that's what the plan is for today. I've also, I'm all up to date with my filming and uh, yeah, did a bit of editing, did a bit of work. All right. You made me feel like a woman. You made me feel like a woman. That's a perfect shot of Dave. <laughs> Which one's that? Huh? Which one's that? <laughs>
cause it's raining again It's cold but I can't sing This is actually something I made another udon noodle salad. So these are with like soya chunks, that's vegan, cheese, sun dried tomatoes, peppers, cucumber, spring onions, nice dressing, some other vegan cheese as well. And I'm watching Cinnamon Toast Ken. Frozen yogurt for dogs. Yeah. A special doggy bag. I swear they're doing the food demos. Bob's curry hook. Welsh cakes. Yeah. Well, I won't be able to eat that one, will I? But. <laughs> Owls. Hello, I'm hungover. Look at my hair, look, look at it, it's everywhere. Oh, yeah, I'm hungover and tired. But yesterday was good, so I went to see my friend Nick. And, well, I should probably catch you up. So, over the weekend, I've been in Tamworth at my mum's house, uh, where I, you know, where I grew up. And so while we were there, we went to a food festival, which was good. Did a bunch of charity shopping, so I'm gonna film a haul soon with that stuff. And, uh, yeah, then in the evening I went to play snooker with my friend Nick and then we went to a pub called Bonds, which is like where we used to grow, go when we were younger and uh, bumped into someone that me and Nick knew from college and then we went to a pub called The White Lion where there's a drag queen, so that was good. And then today I've headed back, uh, obviously I had to come back for the cat 
who is currently, I think he's in the window. Alright. You in the window? Oh yeah. Meow. Yeah, you can come out are you gonna come out and say hello? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Have you missed me, Biggie? Yes, he's missed me. Uh I don't think I have much to report in the way of books. So the last book that I read was The Lovely Bones, wasn't it, Biggie? So I read The Lovely Bones, didn't really enjoy it, but I'm gonna be doing a review. On that, and then I have been reading this beast, which is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen and Owen King. And I'm like about halfway through, I was kind of hoping to have it finished by the time I got back from Tamworth, but that didn't happen, did it, Biggie? No, it didn't. But I am enjoying Sleeping Beauties. I'm sure I've heard somebody, I can't remember who, but I'm sure one of the like booktube friends of mine said they didn't enjoy it too much. And uh, I'm really enjoying it so far, it's very cool. And basically, like, what happens is. Uh, all over the world, women fall asleep and can't wake back up. And they get like cobwebs over their faces, don't they, Biggie? You get loads of cobwebs on their faces, and then they can't wake up. And then there's a policewoman lady who's in charge of the town, and she's stealing drugs from the evidence locker so she doesn't she doesn't go to sleep, isn't she, Biggie? In it, yeah, man. Cool. So yeah, that's where I'm at. But actually, that seems like a good place to uh, end this video. So, as always, as it's a Sunday, you know, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Biggie says bye too.